a look at what, uh, what he's watching, I should say. I want to bring in Andrew uh, Sliman. He's a senior portfolio manager at Morgan Stanley Investment Management. Good morning to you. Uh, ahead of this uh, Thanksgiving, I think we're all trying to make sense of these markets and, and, and where things are headed. Uh, we've, we've sort of gone on a period where everything seemed terrible, then everything seemed great. We got some really interesting earnings even out of NVIDIA last night. Um, what's your take on, on where things are and what, what are you think that what do you think is working? Well, you know, NVIDIA, good morning, Andrew, is kind of symptomatic of the stock market, which is the stock market had a very big move in the first half of the year, uh, corrected uh, into the fall, and it has had a big rally, but more or less back to where it was this summer. NVIDIA had a huge move in the first half of the year, but it's really only back to where it was uh, last summer, and they've got two more quarters behind them. So, I think the market's short-term overbought, but I think we get another rally uh, into year-end, and that's why, you know, last summer I said, look, I think the market will end the year closer to 5,000 than 4,000. I felt like kind of an idiot when the market was down to 41, 4,200, but I'm, you know, feeling feeling better today. One of the key things, though, Andrew, is money markets continue to be an attractive alternative for investors. And that's the, the level of apathy towards stocks remains very, very high. So the more rates start to bleed lower, the more that's going to start to push money uh, back into the stock market. Can, Andrew, can you clarify something for me? You, you said you think the market's overbought, but you sure. think the market's going to rally. Yeah. Those things seem to be at odds with each other, but maybe I'm misunderstanding. No, I think that's fine. I probably should have articulated that. I just think very short term, we've had a very big move up. Maybe we consolidate for the next few days, uh, but I think that will gain enough, you know, uh, resting for another leg higher into year end. Maybe it's a Santa Claus rally, or whatever. Uh, I think you will see the market breach the uh, the the summer high uh, before year end, which is closer to forty six hundred. Okay, play this out a little bit longer. Let's play this out 12 more months. What does next summer look like? What is I mean, when you start to think about the next year based on the earnings that we've just had and some of the forecasts that we're seeing, throw in the interest rate situation and what you think may or may not be happening when it comes to wars in uh, the Middle East, in Ukraine and sure. Russia, how does that, what does that look like to you? Well, I mean, you know, so look, we began the year this year with strategists almost universally bearish. And that's coming after a bad year last year. And now as the tar price targets are rolled out for next year, they're really in the kind of the 5% up for the year range. And if you look at history, as much as the market returns kind of 9% on average, the 5% returns only happen less than 10% of the time. So as much as that's a comforting return for the year, it rarely happens. I think it's more likely either the market's going to be down or the market's going to surprise on the upside yet again. The problem that I have with the down year is twofold. Uh, number one is the market hasn't gone anywhere for two years. It doesn't end up after two years breaking to the downside. It will eventually break to the upside. I love the analogy of holding a beach ball underwater, eventually it will break to the upside. The second reason I have a struggle with why next year is going to be down is it's a presidential year. And markets do well in presidential year because incumbents tend to stimulate the economy enough uh, as they're running for re-election. So I suspect all these predictions will end up being wrong on the downside uh, are, are, are too pessimistic yet again.